but it looks like it went on a set of keys or something. It's an 1890. It's not completely clean, but I'm able to get the date right there. So that's awesome. Markers or anything like that, but we'll clean it up later. It looks in decent shape. It's all still together. So underneath there. Uh, I'm gonna try to get it out and clean it up. It's super thin. Hey guys, MoCo Metal Detecting. We are here off of Route 122, which connects 219 to Route 12 heading into Summers County. Um, this is a site where the old covered bridge uh, on what used to be known as the Great Road was located. You can see right here where my metal detector was pointing, or at least I hope you can. Uh, that was the other end of it, and it went diagonally. I'm gonna try to get over here where you can see it a little bit better but it kind of headed in this orientation. So I'm gonna be metal detecting right here and through this area and the surrounding parts of the field and see if we can't uh, get a little bit lucky and find something cool around here. Moco Metal Woman, as you can see, has a magnet and she's gonna be doing some magnet fishing in the area and see what she can't find. So hopefully we'll catch you here pretty soon and see if we can't find something cool. So I just got done digging my first hole. Um, there's only I don't know, about three, four inches deep, right about here. Maybe four inches deep. Um, it looks like, if I can get this thing to turn off. Uh, it doesn't look like anything necessarily. Uh, I think it's I think it's lead. It kind of looks like melted lead, but I'm not sure. It was given off a 23, 22. Uh, sometimes it would hop up to 24, but anyway, uh, first find of the days. We're on the board with something. Uh, Boko Metal Woman, I've got it sitting over here. Let me see if I can go show you real quick. She got her first find out of the creek. It's an old top to a bolt, it looks like. So, uh, I don't know if it was something that may have actually went on the old bridge, but we've just kind of got it sitting there, and now I'll put my lid here. We're using this to set some of our finds on. All right, second hole. Uh, this I couldn't pinpoint it because every time I put the pinpointer in, it was going insane. Uh, big piece of iron. I don't know what it's off of or what it does, what it did, so on and so forth. But there's the second find from this little hunt. You good? <laughs> I was for sure you were going to went down on that one. Slippery rock. All right, we're going to hope that Moco Metal Woman doesn't break her neck. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs> no clue what this one is. Um, I'm thinking, I mean, it's fairly malleable. Like, no issue at all, but it's definitely metal. It was down here under another rock, and so it was a little bit hard to get to. I couldn't figure out what it was. It's a nice, nice boulder. I'm just kidding. It's a nice rock. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm assuming some type of lead maybe, but I don't know why this big of a chunk would be here in the middle of the field. Uh, but anyway, we'll catch you on the next one. This is one, it was coming up in 18, and a strong 18 on the Equinox, and I didn't even have to really... Uh, pinpoint or anything because it popped up. I don't know if you can see it here. I'm just going to leave it in its natural state when I bring it up. But there's a ball jar lid right here where this old bridge used to be. So I'm going to try to exhume it from this little block here and we'll clean it up uh, together and see what we can... Well, that didn't really work. Fell apart just as soon as I got it out. But man, what a wild place in the middle of this field to find that. I'm trying not to get my hopes up, but it was a strong 31, 32, and then it just stayed on 32. Uh, small, uh, as a small target, and it's still right here, so we're gonna see if we can't find it together. Oh, there, never mind. There it is. Man, I, got, I tried not to get too hopeful. I don't know what that is. It's a little part off of something. And jar lid number two. Uh, the other one was about 10 feet that way, and now we're on the second one. This was also in a pretty rough shape, but I'm pretty sure from what I can make out of it, it's a ball. Yeah, there's the BA. So that's wild finding two of these caps in this area. Uh, so I don't know. I can't be positive of it, but I think I may have stumbled onto an old junkyard type of situation um I'm, I'm getting all of a sudden out of silence uh down here just beep 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 and it's all like in the 13 14 uh 10 then negatives and iron and i pulled this bad boy it was a 26 
uh, and it seemed like a small target and then I pulled it out and obviously it wasn't so it must have just been catching this twisted bit at the top um, but anyway we'll see how it goes I might try to move away from here depending on what I continue pulling out uh, Moco Moco Metal Woman's pulled out her detector so we'll see if we can't start looking and seeing uh, what else we can find in the surrounding area no idea what it's gonna be we're gonna try and find out together I'm just gonna kind of pop this top off of it and see if we didn't lose it try right here yay we got ourselves a piece of foil yep piece of foil well it's the curse of the live dig we're gonna see what miss moco has over here and we'll catch you in a minute she's still working on her find i came over here and i didn't have to dig i found a can here it was kind of exposed a little uh tin probably sardine tin and then i looked here on this old tree and I can see a chain. So we'll go ahead and put that in the finds. It's a surface finds by all means, but still cool. Well, after digging much more than four inches, which is what it said her target was at, uh, Moco Metal Woman found herself a can. <laughs> a, can. a flipping can. So good stuff. Uh, we're gonna go take these finds over here to the rock and keep on going for a little bit We're still digging in this hole. She got a piece of it out Or maybe that's all of it I think it's this yeah, Might be. I think that was it Yeah. It's the same kind of composition now. It's not nearly as uh, Bendy as what I pulled out earlier. I don't know what that is Gord. But it's got more shape than anything I pulled out of the other one. It's hefty too. Might be lead. Could also be not lead. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> All right, we got in here and it was registering a 17 on my machine and a 32 on hers. Uh, it was probably the rust off of it that was giving it something. But it's an old nail. I, I think it's just a round nail. But it might be a square one. It's just kind of gotten bigger. Is there something else in the hole? Or? Oh, that was... Could be another one. Maybe something else. We'll catch you if there is something All else. All right. I think we have found what it was. It looks like maybe part of a side of a barrel. You want to hold that up real quick? It was only under God knows how much gravel. I think we have officially uh, found the road because there's nothing but gravel here and then there's like some hard rock in there i don't know if they laid rock to it or what but it seems like we may have found somewhat of a road or some semblance of a road so on that note we're either going to cross over here to the other side the landowner came down the road and saw us and he said well shoot if you want to you can come over and do this side so we may save over there for another day uh but we're going to do near the creek where the old bridge there was three bridges there was a bridge that was here and it was taken down and then there was a bridge to the right of the current bridge that we have and then there's the current bridge so we may do that or we may save it for another day getting ready to get into the car to head over and a moco metal woman says hey there's my dad <laughs> if that's not a west virginia hey there's my hey it's my mom anyway uh she's getting into the car getting back to the story and she looks over here on the side said there's a penny on the side of the road and i said no there isn't and she's like it's a 2019 so i should be able to zoom up on it really well without me having to worry i don't know if it's focused or not but it's a 2019 philadelphia mint so we're gonna head down the road we tried this area over here but nothing but junk and a lot of emi we're gonna head to the next house and potentially talk to my mom so <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you over there all right, a uh, whole bunch of beepy beepy noises. We've got the whole family gathered in uh, where we met them over there. But anyway, uh, we're right back here. I'm trying to help Courtney and Courtney's intern helping my little sister Maggie. By the way, introduction to everybody, wife, sister, mom, dad. Uh, they're thrilled to be on the camera. Anyway, uh, back here, just it was kind of one worth doing. The uh, 
milk glass is completely intact on this one. I caught it in its original state. Um, it, you know, not too good a shape and it's crushed. It was pulling a strong 25 to 28 on the 600. So anyway, I thought that was worth putting in the video. All right, so we're gonna do a real quick wrap up. Um, not a whole lot of valuable finds, really no valuable finds at all. Um, but you know, the experience itself was good. We've got three uh, mason jar lids over here. Um, two big pieces of lead. I'm not sure what they were to. They're similar uh, in color and everything, so they may go together in some weird way. I don't know. They were found about 10, 15 feet away from each other. A couple bottle tops. I'm still trying to figure out what this one is. Uh, I've tried turning it every way. So if you know what it is, or if you can see it, I definitely cannot. Uh, it's a little bit too far gone. Um, this was the magnet fishing uh, item that Moco Metal Woman found. It's hefty. Um, I don't know if this went to the covered bridge or not, but it was in the creek. This one was found across the road, uh, that one spot. And then, I don't know what this is at all. Uh, nor do I know what this is. It looks like the cap to something, but I'm not sure what it's the cap to. Uh, aluminum foil. And this big iron plate. This uh, found at Springfield along with that other thing, but I didn't film it. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's like it's iron, and I think this is copper wire all wrapped up inside of it. So, interesting, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, then, of course, the chain and the rest of the trash is sitting in there. Not a whole, whole lot of finds, but still, uh, it was just a nice day out, if nothing else. This is actually a few days after uh, the hunt, the initial hunt. I'm really pleased with the GoPro footage. I'm still trying to get used to it. The only thing that happened that I wasn't a fan of, it, like, it was like it froze up and then it said, something had updated so how it did that in the middle of the field i'm not sure but um i'm still learning anyway um thank you all for joining and we hope to see you again on the next one take care if you like this video please hit that thumbs up button leave a comment below and be sure to click or tap the circular channel icon to subscribe if you haven't already if you'd like to see another video just click or tap the link on the right side of the screen you can also follow me on instagram and twitter so head over to either for updates between videos as always happy hunting and thanks for watching